So this is weird. The um, buttons on the Twitch dashboard went back to uh, having labels on them earlier, and now they're back to having no labels. I'm really confused as to what the fuck Twitch thinks they're doing at any given time. And now I've got them with no labels on one monitor and with labels on the other monitor. And I have no idea what the fuck Twitch thinks they're doing at any given time. I don't think they do is the thing. I think you're right. I I think that they I think that they have no idea what to do with this company that they bought years and years ago. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, okay, please stop covering the chat now. Oh my god. The label at the top of the chat was covering the chat room and wouldn't go away. Contests are bill listed in British pounds? Oh my god, I gotta see this. Let's see if it's the same on... On, on my computer, on, in my browser. They're supposedly upgrading our node, and the node's at least been working during the times of day that we need it, even though it's been shit for the rest of the time. Uh, it says dollars on mine, so apparently that's, that's isolated. <laughs> Why would they even have the capacity to do that? It's not in pounds, but it's got the GBP. Oh, mine has the dollar sign. That's even stranger. Why would they even have the capacity to do that? That's a damn good question. Anyway, Wander Song. Let's, uh, let's continue. Oh, that TV is much too loud. There will be sounds of dogs being let in and out for a few minutes. Oh, press L and R on the controller. That's bizarre. So, something I like about this game is that instead of, like, a title screen, it just shows wherever you last were and has the game logo on it. How y'all doing? I like queer games about queer people by queer people. And that's what we've got here. Hi, Gaston. Hi there, puppy. You gonna get up, get all up on me? Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Well, ready to go? Ready! Well, so long, kiddo. This doesn't mean the end of the band, though, does it? Oh. Act three. Voyage of the Lady Arabica. I have some Arabica right here. Wow, a real pirate ship. Is this gonna go on for the entire trip? It might. Pirates are really cool, Miriam. 
Do you think Manny and Viola and Ash are gonna be okay? Who's that? Your band? We just left. I'm sure they're fine. Wanna play a game? Like I Spy? No. Why don't you, like, explore the ship or something? Aww. She's ignoring me now. That was weird. Yeah, you get stuck there if you're not going at full speed. Huh. That's odd. Is it water, Bad Road? Yar! Welcome aboard the Lady Arabica, matey. Yeah, this is so cool. Where are we going? Tatango Island Town. Are there more pirates there? Aye. You really like pirates, eh? They're pretty neat. Wanna be a helpful part of our crew? How? Fetch me a coffee. Oh. Huh, okay. We. <laughs> the look on it. <laughs> oh my god, the look on their face. Just so nonplussed. I wasn't kidding about that coffee. I could really use some. Ooh, what's up here? It's Nina. This is the crow's nest. Sorry, only cool people are allowed up here. Just kidding. You're cool. <laughs> Everyone said I was too short to be a pirate. But being short doesn't really matter. See? I just stand on this box and I'm as good as anyone. <laughs> Hey, Demon Goat. This view's really nice, huh? Being a pirate is super cool. Bard does not take fall damage. Well, if it isn't the Bard of 37,000 beans. Oh good, I'm glad it kept track of that. I hope you realize you're never getting those beans. That's okay, I didn't really want them. I also still have no money. Right. I'm sort of the public face of the crew. You know, sell the beans, make the deals. I'm good at it because I'm so cute. Well anyway, welcome aboard, or something. And stay out of the cargo. You want coffee? You can talk to Lou in the mess hall. Being a pirate isn't all fun and games. We've got a serious business enterprise here. People pay top dollar for coffee beans, you know? That's true. Coffee beans are ridiculously expensive. At least, they used to be. I'm the navigator for this ship. Meaning I keep us pointed in the right direction. And that goes beyond the literal. I don't tolerate silliness. Huh. Me neither. <laughs> I'm on a serious adventure. You seem like the silly type to me. Of course, they just let you on the ship without consulting me. I mean, that's fine. Just please don't break anything. Ugh, I'm so tired. I can't even remember the last time I slept. So why do I still want more coffee? Boneless wings and you're excited to have pizza. That used to be a very common meal for me. Now I'm 35 and I can't eat it that often. Can I get a cup of coffee for the captain? Why, yes you can! There you go.
Ugh. Please try to be careful with those. Well, I... I didn't expect that. <laughs> so, uh, don't try to sing while holding coffee. Can I get a cup of coffee for the captain? Why, yes, you can! There you go. Ugh. Another mug lost. Fabulous. Can I get a cup of coffee for the captain? Why, yes, you can! There you go. Who keeps giving this troublemaker coffee? <laughs> can I get a cup of coffee for the captain? <laughs> Those mugs aren't cheap, or I... I mean, they are, relatively speaking. But that's not the point! Stop breaking them! Can I get a cup of coffee for the captain? Why, yes, you can! Are you... Come on! Bad Road said break everything, and that's the only words I read. <laughs> And jump around all I want without dropping it. I brought you a coffee. So you did. <laughs> ah, it's so good. <gasps> I feel. A song coming on! Yo. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh no. We're the cock! Be pirates! And we sail the seas. Search in for delicious coffee beans. We may act a little tough, but we ain't no beans unless you try to take our sweet calf bean <laughs> call me lucas i'm the cap Ten of this crew. I'm Nina, and I'm tougher than you. Name's Lou. I'm just here to cook the food I'm Francisco and this song is dumb Lovely, truly.
Nothing like a cup of coffee after a long day. Hopefully everyone all got all that singing out of their system. I'll sleep great tonight. Ha ha. Just kidding. Nobody sleeps on this ship. It's too bad my part of the song was interrupted. I had a real showstopper ready, let me tell ya. Whatever, I'm over it. I've got my coffee now. We don't do a whole lot of sleeping on this ship. Everyone's kind of a lunatic, but in a good way. Being a pirate isn't all fun and games. We've got a serious business enterprise here. People pay top dollar for coffee beans, you know? Ha! Great singing out there today, matey. Something about you really lights up the music in my heart. Um, neat. Let me know when you want some coffee. Well, ready for some coffee? Not yet. Well, alrighty then. It warms my heart to see everyone with a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> All so young and full of caffeine. So what you think of my cooking anyway? Oh, uh, it was... Um... Good. It was good. I've been on this ship a long, long time. The things I seen. Yeah, coffee! <laughs> hey, where'd your witch friend go anyway? Love coffee so much. Drink it every day. <laughs> he is very tiny. Yeah, yeah, great job with the singing today. As if these pirates weren't obnoxious enough already. You should try having fun sometimes, Miriam. Yeah, I'll show you fun sometime. Why don't you want to hang out? Today's been long enough. I'm kind of not in the mood. Haven't been so far from home before. Are you homesick? Ugh! I guess... If that's what this is. I just hope my grandma's okay in junk. Whatever, have your fun with your new pirate buddies. I like some me time now. Me time. Oh, I can't drop through the stairs. Well, you ready for some coffee? Yeah. That's the spirit. <laughs> ah! I love me some caffeine. Really gets me buzzing. So tell me, matey. You ever see a mermaid? Oh, not this one again. Ah, shut it, you scallywags! Have you? <laughs> ah, ha ha ha! I was just a lad, a no-name on some crew. When we found ourselves in the worst storm you ever heard of. We didn't stand a chance. The ship went down, I was drowning. I saw my life flash before me eyes. And that's when I heard her. As my vision faded, a beautiful voice, singing from the deep. When I came to, I was safe on some shore. She saved me. Her music is the music of my heart. My mermaid savior. Of course, after that, they all vanished for years and years. Say, matey, you aren't drinking your coffee. Oh, huh, yeah. I was totally distracted. And also a little nervous. I've never had this stuff before. Never had coffee? Matey, you've never lived. Give it a drink already. Um, okay.
Well, slow zoom. So, finally awake, eh? So, you're finally awake. What happened? What happened was you caused a real ruckus is what happened. And you ain't never having any coffee ever again. Well, we're docked safe onto Tango Island now. Why don't you get outside and stretch those legs before you lose them, like me? Are you coming outside too? No, sorry. I'm just standing here. Go on now. Well, hello there, sunshine. Feeling calm down now? Yes. Well, thank Aya. Is the nexus point here? No. We still have to... F Guess. Overseer song. This time I really have no idea who would know it. The nexus point's just on some uninhabited island. The island's got people on, or this island's got people on it, though. So I guess just go ahead and do your people thing. Talking? Yeah, that. Apparently the pirates sell their coffee beans here. But I wonder where they get the beans from. Ugh, it's hot. I can't tell if it's worse out here or back on, or back inside the ship. Please find that song soon. This way to Tatango Town. Well, what's this way then? This way to Calliope's Cali Calliope Calliope's House of Fortune. My brain read it before I could really think of it. Oh, I'm behind the ship. On another, more different ship. Alright, cool. I just trespassed. Is trespassing a cool crime? <laughs> this way to Calliope's House of Fortune. What about on someone else's boat? Demon Goat says, yeah. What are you doing here? Do you know the Overseer song? Overseer? <laughs> Funny time to ask. I hate to tell you this, but the world is ending. That's why I'm packing up my stuff. 
gonna go chill on a beach till it all goes down. Well, I know about that already. Huh? About the beach? No, about the world ending. That's what I'm trying to stop. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But sure. I can divinate just about anything. What are you looking for? Overseer song? Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. Got it. Apparently the mermaids know it. Which is too bad, since they vanished years ago and all. Even I couldn't tell you where they went. Oh. So you can't really divinate anything, huh? T hey, I'm the best in the biz, okay? But it's not that simple. A divination like that would require hard, hard, to, hard to find stuff. Like what? <laughs> You're serious, huh? To actually locate the mermaids, I'd need no less than the mermaids' tear. Huh? I have to make them cry? No, 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 no. It's a jewel, you dummy. Something they left behind. You could go looking for it in the ruins, I guess. But be warned, it's a heroic side quest thing. A what? The tear is destined to be found by a hero. Not a weird song dork. <laughs> but if you can get the jewel, then I can find the mermaids. Okay, I'll find it. And then we'll see who the hero is. Good luck finding the jewel. I'll wait around and see if you do. The payoff would be pretty sweet. <laughs> One of the themes of this game is what exactly is a hero? <laughs> Which I think is an important thing that people don't think about in their narratives nearly enough. Hey, it's Cloud Strife. It's Cloud Strife Final Fantasy. Hi there. I'm a hero in training, as you can probably tell. My parents said heroics had no future, but I have to follow my dreams. So let me know if you hear about any, like, quests. Hmm. Heroic quests, huh? I definitely don't know about any of those. Okay, that wasn't suspicious at all. Thanks anyway. His name is Hero. I've been shopping for the good hero stuff. Getting ready to make my big debut? Look out, world. Got my hero sword and my hero haircut. All the pieces are there. Hero time, baby! Just, uh, need some quests. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but I actually ran away from home. I always wanted to travel the seas, but no one took me seriously because I'm a kid. So I took matters into my own hands. You'd never see this kind of stuff where I come from. It's so exotic. I love it. My parents are probably worried sick, though. I do kind of miss home. Stowing away on boats and sleeping in cargo is cool for a while, but sometimes it's kind of sad, too. It's not an adventure if it's easy, right? I'm sure I'll go back someday. That was a pretty fantastic freakout you had last night from one coffee. You wouldn't last a second on our crew, ha. Well, I kind of am on your crew now, right? I guess? Normally I do the bean selling, but I put Francis on the job today. Please don't call me Francis. I go by Francisco with everyone except Penny here because she's a deeply rude person with no respect for anyone. That's how I can get him to do my bidding. Are you two dating? No. 
When I was a kid, I thought being a pirate sounded so dang cool. But you know what I'd like now? Some nice things. Comfortable life. Most pirates don't get that. That's why I work my butt off for this crew. I guess I figured as a pirate I'd be finding buried treasure, but in life it turns out the real treasure is friendship? No, coffee. People pay top dollar for this stuff. The real treasure was the coffee we sold along the way. This pirate mean merchant in this world. Nope. Nope, these are just pirates who don't do pirate things. <clears throat> I got put on duty to sell the coffee beans. Usually it's Penny's job. Ugh, I'm so bored. We're always drinking coffee, so we practically never sleep on that ship. I don't know how anyone can handle this without sleep, though. I want to stab everyone. In the face. Would you like some coffee beans? Would you like some coffee beans? Would anyone like some coffee beans? Dynamic music. Hiya, welcome to Anna's bomb shop. You want bombs? Cause that's, pr pr uh, that's pretty much all I've got. Why would I want bombs? You know, to blow stuff up. It's fun. I'll pass. Say, you're out in the world, and you see a big suspicious looking crack in the wall. You'll wish you had bombs then. Cracks always mean treasure. That is a weird reason to carry bombs around all the time. <laughs> Sheesh, what kind of adventure are you on anyway? A cool one. With pirates and singing and other stuff too. But no bombs? Snore. Hi there, cutie. You look so helpless and adorable. Are you lost? Nope, I totally am not. <laughs> if you say so. I'm from far away, too. I'm an adventurer, you might say. Oh, that's cool. I'm also an adventurer. <laughs> I bet you are. How's your adventure been so far? Um, good? You know, really, like, yeah, epic and stuff? Fight lots of big monsters? You don't gotta impress me. You're so cute as you are, really. Good luck on your adventure, cutie. I think she was talking down to us. Ahoy! Howdy do there, whippersnapper! We're not used to seeing your type out in our little spot. But don't you worry, we're friendly. Why not join us for a coffee? The sea's a harsh place to make your living. There's no room to be mean in a world like that. This is our place and time to be friends together. Let's cherish that. What do you think you're doing here, Pipsqueak? Um, huh? Cool, Marcus. The weirdo's with us. We're cool. So step off, you jerk. Sorry about that. My wife recently left me. It made me feel emasculated, so I felt the need to assert my physical dominance. Playing out my masculine insecurities, see? Ah. Uh, I'm glad you understand. I'll remove myself from the situation now. What a jerk! <laughs> hey, thanks for sticking up for me. No prob! So I talked to a fortune teller, and she said I have to find the mermaids for my quest. Mermaids, hi? Eh? Yeah, and some tear jewel. We have to go to the ruins to find it. 
What? I've already forgotten his voice. Ever since the mermaids disappeared, a huge monster took over the old temple. I think this is right. That's why it's the ruins, matey. Oh, but it's the only way to find the mermaids. We can't even tell you how much we've all missed the mermaids since they disappeared. Their voices gave such life and magic to the sea. We all worried they might have been taken, or worse. If you could really bring them back, you'd surely be a hero to us all. Hmm, <laughs> yes, the mermaids. It'd be kind of cool finding out what happened to them. Yeah. All right, matey, we'll help you. Come, Nina, to the ship! Oh, how exciting. Bring the mermaids back soon, whippersnapper. I, keep, I cannot keep his accent. I cannot do it for the life of me. Boat! Oh, wait. Oh, I scared the fish. Oh, no, wait. Here, fishy, 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 fishy! Get it like on Sesame Street? Here, fishy, 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 fishy! That was one of my favorite bits. Is it true? The rumor? Are you the one who's going to save the mermaids? Um, yes. <laughs> ah! I want to throw my kerchief at you! That's what damsels do to heroes, right? I don't even know the rules for this! I'm so woefully unprepared! Please forgive me! I am a bad damsel! That's okay. I don't really want your kerchief anyway. Mother always told me, be prepared for the arrival of a hero. I didn't think it would happen in my lifetime. And yet, here you are, a true hero. Shucks. Well, I'll try my best. <clears throat> Ooh la la. Everyone's buzzing about a fancy new hero who's going to bring back the mermaids. That's you, isn't it? I've been on some adventures myself, but if you find the mermaids, you'd be the greatest in the sea. Good luck. <laughs> Egad. What's happening? Everyone's gone nuts. Did you do this? Captain Lucas says we're searching for mermaids. What? Didn't they disappear years ago? I was fine just selling beans. Captain says we're hunting mermaids now. You really got them all up in a frenzy. Almost as bad as that week we switched to espresso? Oh boy. But I guess it's not a bad time to adventure. Bean sales are going swell. It'll be like a vacation. Tiny hero. Captain Lucas says we're good to go. Wanna set sail? Yeah! Great, I'm done with this heat too. Alright, matey. You know the way, so guide us with your music. Don't forget to hold down any button to see the map too. Alright, so we're at Tatango Island. There is something under that thumb. There is an X under the thumb. We're going to the thumb. This is the best way to steer a ship. Disembark at question marks? Yar! 
So how's everyone doing? Hey! Hey now, Wanderer. You did good finding me here. I feel something. Lurking within you just beneath the surface. It's another dance, Wanderer. I think it's time to wake it up. We got a new dance. Beautiful dance, Wanderer. Carry it with you on your journey. Show the world the dance that lives inside of you. All right. Oh, I can't dance into the sea. Debating on art things, making a Minecraft skin. Well, those are fun. <clears throat> All right, the mermaid ruins are off to the northwest. There's also a little fish-shaped aisle up there, and there's a hand-shaped aisle next to the other thumb. It doesn't look like I can disembark on just random islands. <clears throat> yep, that sure is a hand. Hoi, matey, where exactly are you headed? I don't know. Right. Don't forget you can push any button to see the map. That wandering's fun too, eh? Oh, I can't sail off the map. Alright, let's head to the mermaid ruins now. Which is this way. Miriam's just over there on the right looking annoyed. Yar? This place makes me beard hair stand up. Be careful, matey. If you see the monster, run. Hi. Did you want to get back to the ship? Nah. This is where they used to live. It used to be underwater. Uh, they say its layout is full of puzzle and configurations. And a giant monster. I like giant monsters. And puzzle and configurations. There we go. I can spin it. Oh, I can't get on top. I don't see a way to get on top of it. Gotta make a staircase. That should do it. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ah, still made it. Platforming! There's a mermaid statue. Huh, I thought that would do something. The staff both matches the color of the note and is pointing in the same direction. Looks like someone found some treasure. Hmm. 
Can't go that way. There we go. Simple enough. Nice, simple puzzles. <laughs> ah, like a Zelda, you get it? That was like a Zelda. Alright, so it looks like we gotta raise all three of these up to make a bridge. Maybe not the middle one. Might be able to jump across. But we'll do all three. If such a thing is possible. There we go. That was cute. Oh, like in the video game Zelda, exactly. for number three. It's time to sing our puzzles away. This is like Mega Man, except... Whoops. It's like Mega Man, except whoops. Oh, okay. And then I died. Honestly, sort of shocks me how different, many different types of gameplay they got out of the note wheel. Yeah, I'm impressed. How do I... Oh, okay. That one took a little bit of thinking. Dumped me back out at the bottom. Why did it do that? Will this bring it back down? Yeah, well. Glitches! Am I right? Seems like a bad idea. Oh no. Wait, what's over this way? There's there's another way to go. Uh, I'm going up the elevators first. They look exciting. Just leads. Oh, okay. Ooh. There 
we go. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, I found the mermaid's tear. Or at least half of the mermaid's tear. It's like the mermaid's shark fin. Oh shit. Oh no, why am I collecting skateboard coins? Why is it keeping score? Hey, 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 now, Wanderer. Sweet moves. Did you want to go back up? Heck yeah. Cool. So I'm getting, I get the feeling that leads back to the ship. I also get the feeling that my score doesn't mean anything. So then this way will be the other half of the tier. That, that's a dead crab. I guess the monster died. I hope this is not crab's blood. <clears throat> oh, that's ominous. So, someone has killed the monster, which was a giant crab, and got two out of three treasures. I guess we now uh, skateboard back down. There was a crab battle. They didn't even have to flip it onto its back. That's that's true. They must. Hey, remember that big sword from the dream? Do you think maybe this person actually got that sword? Uh, yep, I was right. Oh, I just noticed the big mermaid at the top of the temple. So that's how you get up there. This is clearly only, like, part of a tier, though. You're alive! Are you alive? Ooh! You'd be a terrible ghost, matey. I found the tier! Really? I think. So you escaped the clutches of the monster? Actually, I think it was dead when we got here. Ah, oh, that's impossible. Unless someone or something was here already. The thing I got doesn't look like a tear either. Huh. Then you may have just a piece. A classic case of multi-step heroic quests. I have no idea where the rest would be. But it's out there somewhere, I. Did you want to get back to the ship? Yeah. All right, so I guess we can go to the Lost Waterfall or Turtle Shores. 
Turtle Shore sounds about my pace. It's a turtle. Sure. <laughs> Did you want to get back to the sh I thought you'd have something to say about the turtles. The mermaids have magic vocal cords and made magical inventions to use them. Such beautiful creatures they are. Alright, it likes this note. Let's just lead back to the same. This probably will have a different room in between here and there. So obviously that one note is important, but there's probably more. Alright. So we've got... La and Do. You know, for the sound of music fans amongst us. Here's a purple arrow. Which would signify Ray. Hey, what? No. There's another arrow here. Are there three? Yes, there are three arrows in this room. All right, what did the other two notes have to do with then? got the well, I know two of these now I gotta look for a rock I gotta look for a rock that has that'll react to music in some way because I know it's something bird flower Here's a rock that's that same shape. Oh, look at that. It's got blue in the lower left corner. Nice and simple.
We did it. We did it. Are I did it. To the boat. What a good bird. Hmm, I was just staring at the sea. I got the other part of the tier. You don't say. Well done, matey. Does this mean we can go to the mermaids now? I think. I just gotta show the fortune teller. Then there's no time to waste! Did you want to get back to the ship? Yeah. Look at our horrible sun. Alright, back to Tatango. Look at my horrible son. I'm just saying hi. Uh, okay. Hello. Enough with the singing already. I like Miriam. <laughs> Back to Calliope's House of Fortune. So, I know why you're here. And listen, I get it. Hero stuff isn't for everyone. You did your best. Wait, 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 wait. I totally got the mermaids tier. You, uh, really? Is that even possible? That is definitely it. So you can find the mermaids with this? <laughs> yes, I can. Here we go. I solved it. I'm totally marking it on your map or whatever. And as payment, I'm keeping the jewel. This thing is worth a fortune. I'm gonna have myself a nice pre-apocalypse vacation now. <laughs> sure, whatever. So, um, does this mean I'm a hero now? Um, hmm. I guess it might. I'm gonna do another divination. On you this time. Let's see if you're really the hero foretold. Oh, <laughs> like oxen free, and it went fine there. Holy cow, there's no prophecy about you whatsoever. None? None whatsoever. What does that mean? I don't even know. Usually you at least see something. 
You're for sure not the hero foretold, but I guess you're not not a hero? Destiny just has, like, no expectations of you at all. Well, good luck with that. World's still ending. I want to get out of here into the beach. So, time to scram, okay? Who cares about being a hero anyway? It's not even that cool. Being a rad fortune teller? Now that's cool. <laughs> it's fine. There's no triangles. Almost wrote triangles. Now I want to see that be a thing, and I want to learn about them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that feels kind of funky now. Not hopeless, but a little sad and frustrated. Huh? What's that look on your face? Nothing. Well, I guess now we can find the mermaids, huh? Wanna set sail? Yeah. Where did everyone go? Isn't that what Kingdoms of Amalur is about, Bad Road? Aw, oh, shit. Aha! It's you! Did you tie up my friends? Yes. And I'm very sorry about that. But you see, I believe the reason my wife left me was my finances. What I'm saying is, I'm poor. But I understand you now have a very valuable jewel. So you see, I had no choice but to sneak onto your ship, tie up your friends, and demand it as ransom. What a jerk. I agree. This bozo has no idea what he's in for. I'm gonna blast. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Even if this guy's a jerk, we don't have to blast him. I'd honestly be okay with the blasting at this point. Seriously, what a jerk. Ugh. I can see where this is going. Little Bat wants to save the day without hurting anyone. But that doesn't work in this situation. Some dudes need to be blasted. I agree with Miriam. Some dudes need to be blasted. Just give me a chance. Uh, um, no, I can't believe I let this fool get the drop on me. Listen, youngin. I got a stash of stuff in the mess hall for this kind of occasion. Go do this right now. This is ridiculous. You are ridiculous. I am totally gonna blast this jerk. Don't do it. Ugh. I don't know what his deal is. He's just standing there like he doesn't know what to do. This could be over so fast. I guess you could just give him the jewel too. I don't have it. Oh. Well, good luck with that then. Dirty scallywag. After all that coffee, the crew had a rough caffeine crash. He caught us napping. I'm still too tired for this. Who <laughs> looks tired? It's fine, all we need is one cup of coffee. Yep. I always knew Marcus was dirty, but not like this. You think you know a guy. And we were so close to fighting the mermaids. If you're gonna do something, do it soon, matey. Give me the jewel! I totally don't even have it! I don't believe you. Alright, let's go get one cup of coffee.
Whoa, there is a bunch of stuff back here. I guess I'll take the gun. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're too weak to hold up the gun. What the heck? Is that a gun? Uh, yes. Are you actually planning to shoot that guy? How is that better than blasting him? Never mind. Just throws it overboard. Are you listening? Mess hall means kitchen. Go get something there. Well, I, I guess we could try slashing him. Just a blasting and a slasting and a. I guess I'll take the sword. The sword! And barely lift this sword, too. Why is the punching necessary? The way I'm about to ask out my ma- This way I'm able to act out my masculine insecurities with physical dominance. Jerk. <laughs> this game's a little blunt. I guess I'll take a cup. Uh, cup. Uh, uh, Coffee. All right, so do we just bring it to him or do we throw it in his face? Ah, hey, that hurt. Aha, uh -huh. bet you want to leave us alone now, huh? No, my emotions are now running higher than ever. You have only escalated this situation. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's let's just try offering him a cup of coffee. Nah, nah, doesn't look like, doesn't look like Bat wants to drink any coffee. <laughs> From far away, I thought you were bringing the jewel, but that's a cup of coffee. Are you offering it to me? Yes. Oh. Well, thank you. I have to say, I'm surprised at this gesture. You aren't going to give me the jewel, are you? I really don't have it. I'm just not sure what I am supposed to do. How will I ever win back my wife? She left without saying anything. I'm sure money was the reason she left. As a man of the sea, I am no millionaire. But the sea was my first love, and I can't give that up. When was the last time you talked? The last time we talked? I said some things I regret. That might be why she left. I'm not sure what I'm doing here anymore. I'm going to remove myself from the situation. Thanks for the coffee. Good. What a jerk. Ugh. Huh. That guy was so gross. Thanks a million for dealing with that. I feel for that guy. I really do. <sighs> Sounds like he's having a hard time. Still a jerk, though. Honestly, I could really go for some more coffee ra right now. Thank you, matey. Now we can finally set sail for the mermaids. Yar. Are you ready, kids? 
Aye, aye, Captain. Not yet! He should... He should figure out how to remove himself from situations a little earlier. Yep. Alrighty then. Well, just let me know. Oh, well, Nina's in the background, so I can't talk to her. Well, I guess that worked. Good on you. What do you even need me for when you're so great? I can't believe the nerve of that guy. You ask me, he deserved a lot worse. But whatever. <laughs> Youngin, you really did it. I'm proud of you. Even if you were a total sissy. Oh, rude. For your accomplishment, I'll cook up something real good. And I'll lot it. You better eat it. I ain't like being out here in the sun. Being in the mess hall just feels right, you dig? I'd be happy living out my whole life on just this boat. Yarr! Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! mermaid. Well, let's check out the lost waterfall, I guess. You know, while we're here. Yar. Nexus point is on this island for sure. Not much we can do here without the song, though. Just let me know if you want to get back to the ship. Sup, ready to get out of here? Do you really have to answer like that? <laughs> Even Francisco is reluctantly singing, but not Miriam. It's shaped like a goldfish cracker. We're finally so close. You don't mind if I come with you, eh? We don't know what we'll find here. They could have been imprisoned by a great beast of the sea. Or worse. But what's really terrifying, the idea of seeing her again is making me heart tear itself apart. Oh good. It's making it's making that Looney Tune sound. That's a good that's a good walking sound. Sheesh. Were you holding your breath? I'm losing it here, matey. You gotta understand. I've been thinking about this moment for years. It'll be okay. Even if it's not okay, it'll be okay. I like that it gets quieter if I move slower. Maybe I shouldn't do this. What? If they really are in danger, uh, what if I can't help her, matey? I'll be the fool, not the hero. You can be the hero. I believe in you. <laughs> Whoa, uh, humans? <gasps> are you in danger? Uh, no. Oh. How did you get here? Well, I'm- I came to see ya! You, with the red hair! Years ago, you saved me life in a shipwreck. Not a day's gone by I ain't thought of ya. Your kindness and your beauty. So, I decided I want to spend the rest of my life with ya. Will you take me hand in marriage? Um, whoa. You remember this guy, Mel? Um, 
No. After all these years. This is exactly why we hit ourselves in the first place. You mean you chose to run away? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you humans. And your demands. We couldn't, like, live our lives. But the thing I need is really important. I'm trying to learn the Overseer song to save the world. <laughs> that face is from anime. Hmm. I guess that demand isn't, like, so bad. But... If we teach y'all the song, you gotta promise to keep this spot secret, you hear? We can't be dealing with humans all up in our faces anymore. You sure? Everyone misses you. And I kind of promised I'd bring you back. Yeah, we're sure. Well, I guess we can agree to that. Okay, sweet. Come down here in front of the waterfall. We can make a whole thing out of it. He's broken. Dang, your voice is banging. Okay, let's do this. Hell yeah. Thumb keeps slipping off the thumbstick. Uh huh. That's the song. Now scram. Hey, your friend? He's gone. I probably hurt his feelings. I kind of feel bad. He is kind of cute. And I know it makes me like such a cliche, but I really dig his pirate aesthetic. I guess he can come back when Evs if he wants, but just to hang out. It gets kind of lonely here. One human to chill with sounds okay. Well, that's nice. Jeez, was the captain upset? Guess the mermaid thing didn't pan out, huh? Falling in love seems pretty dumb. Well, got the song at least, right? Ready to head to the Lost Waterfall? Yeah! Oh, the captain's not singing anymore. Any blue guys because that mermaid rescued. I mean, we've seen at least a few blue people. I guess all the rescues kind of blend together after a while. Yep, Queen Chaos's Nexus Point's dead ahead. You know what to do. You sure you don't want to come with? Could be fun. Pass. Apparently all I do is get in the way. I'm fine here. 
What? It's not like that. Ugh. I don't need you to tell me what it's like. I don't even care. I'm just gonna chill here, okay? Go be the hero or whatever. Well, okay. What is it? You want to get back on the ship? No. Okay. Good luck with the Nexus point. Youngin! I heard you was leaving. Be careful out there, you hear? Kid like you could run into trouble real easy. But you can always come back to us. Well, that's very nice. Aha! Uh -huh. Nexus point! When you first showed up on our boat, I was sure you were going to be a huge nuisance. And I was right. But I'll miss you anyway. Good luck on whatever strange, silly thing you're doing next. Hey, before you go, be honest. Do you think I have a scary face? Yes. I figured. Sorry if it was weird to ask that now. I just always wonder. Okay, see ya. <laughs> you really left an impression on this crew. I think even grumpy old Francis warmed up to you. Please stop calling me Francis. And old. See, he doesn't even like me yet. And I'm very charming. Bye forever. Just kidding, you'll come back, right? Maybe I'll actually get 37,000 beans to sweeten the deal. Okay, just kidding again. We spent a lot of time at sea so we don't make many friends. It was nice having you around. Hey, ditching us, huh? Well, I have to go save the world. Man, you're so cool. Well, bye and stuff. I suck at saying bye. Come hang out with us again someday. Good luck on your cool adventure. We'll miss you and stuff. Yeah. Well, matey, we had a good run, I. Even if we're both losers, at least we're losers together. Oh, yeah. Actually, the mermaid said you could come back whenevs. Whenevs, you say? What does that mean? I think it means any time. Guess me salty charm worked on her sweetheart after all. Thank you, matey. You made me wildest dreams come true. Even if you couldn't bring the mermaids back, you're a hero to me. <laughs> so she likes me. She didn't say that. <laughs> Good luck on your journey, mate. Wipe off my thumb. Did. Let's go to space. Water space.
All right, I can make a, I can make a squiggly. Oh no, they bounce. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh no. What is this? think I am just a lowly fish, but I am in fact also a key. If you see me floating about, please bring me along to locked doors. You'll find I'm much more handy than the average fish. Good? Oh, I can't make them fly. Can't go this way. Fish key. Key fish. But I don't know where the fish is. That's the new, but you're still hungry. HP and MP restored, but you don't know where the fish is. If I can ask, are you here to meet Queen Chaos? Is that the Overseer? Yes. She has a really cool name. I'm her little helper, so to speak, but she's been acting very odd of late. The overseer I've met's been acting weird. Hmm. fish wants me to find where they're hiding and then bring them to a hidden keyhole. Oh. Seems like this fish is not putting in its its half of the work. There we go. It's all squishy. Fuck! Go right through. Oh. Have you wondered why the overseers are acting strangely? Aren't they supposed to? No. Something is very wrong. It's a sign of the end times. Oh. Well, that sounds bad. Thank you. 
No, that's not gonna do it. There we go. We made it. Hooray. there's logic to what ways the notes send these, but it doesn't feel like it. keyhole, which I guess means the fish is up ahead. Just like real life. The overseers are born as perfect beings. They embody the natural forces that sustain our world, but as the universe grows old, they grow unhappy and lose their way. Their corruption slowly spreads, and so the world begins disintegrating as well. Ah, huh, that sounds pretty bad. that I think this place looks delicious. Oh good, I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought so. jelly blobs and rock candy. Oh, don't go that way. I guess. So tell me, are you here to complete the ritual? 
I don't know what that is. I'm gonna learn the Earth Song. Oh. I see. Well, never mind. Go ahead and enter. Well, before we before we go ahead and enter. I need to get my mouse to work. There we go. Here in the chat and on the screen are ways that you can help the ongoing civil rights movement going on across the country and the wider world as black Americans and people of color struggle to attain equal treatment under the law to attain the, uh, the, the, the basic the basic right to not be terrorized by police on a daily basis. The protests are still ongoing. They have not stopped. Racism is not over simply because one racist white man was taken out of the White House and another racist white man was put back into the White House. So uh, here's ways that you can help those protests. Uh, specifically, the Bail Fund Network is the one that'll help the protests, specifically. That is, that will, uh, or that is, that that is an organization that works to keep protesters out of jail so that they can either protest more or go, go back to their family and friends and not be stuck in a jail cell. And you can help uh, black trans and non-binary people through the Oprah Project and the Black Trans Travel Fund with food supplies and travel out of dangerous situations. And then we've got the Black Hills Legal Fund here as uh, the Lakota Sioux, or sorry, that is the in that is the incorrect word. The Lakota people work to take back their land, Mount Rush, Mount the Six Grandfathers. I can't say shit right tonight. The Six Grandfathers which was stolen by white people, renamed Mount Rushmore, and then had white people's, white slave owners' faces carved into it. That's pretty fucked up. And I apologize for my misspeaking. We then have the second command kept up to date by my wife, Christy. Uh, there's a new one on there. Designate Haiti for... EPS. I'm going to look into that one real quick because uh, the U.S. as well as large parts of Europe have a long history of fucking over Haiti just as much as possible. I don't actually know what TPS is. Um... EPS is granted to communities when the U.S. government... Temporary protection status. Okay. When the U.S. government determines the political and socioeconomic conditions in a person's home country pose life-threatening danger if one was to be deported. This is, in fact, just objectively true of Haiti right now. And the Biden administration is continuing to order the deportation of Haitian immigrants. All of these campaigns listed here are current. They are there are fundraisers. There are my brain is not finding the words. Had been been feeling like shit since about Tuesday. Well, Wednesday at least. Been feeling like shit for a few days. But there are petitions. There are fundraisers. There's even a correspondence course down there at the bottom. And all that takes is an email. You can just enter that. Enter your email into their website, and they will send you one email a week for four weeks so you can educate yourself on racism and policing, why the police are really bad at the things that they're supposedly there for, and really good at maintaining the status quo, which is, in the United States especially, white supremacy. Black Lives Matter, the lives of people of color matter. Indigenous lives and lands matter. Asian and Pacific Islander lives matter. These are things that we need to keep saying, keep pushing until the people at the very top not only understand and acknowledge them, 
but work to make them protected truths. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. I need to figure out these unlabeled Twitch buttons real quick, since apparently that's a thing still. And then I'll uh, run an ad break. We have no stance on whether or not you block those ads. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm back. I'm back with more of Bard Sings at Cloud. Here we go. How's everyone holding up? I am woozy. Um, just, just generally, I'm bad. That's true. I'm... I'm woozy. I don't think it's anything to worry about any more than usual. It's just migraine from weather patterns. And uh, I took some, I took a medicine for it. And now a lot of the other like nasty symptoms are gone, like the headache and the nausea. But now I'm exceptionally woozy. So that's fun. <clears throat> but we got the rest of this chapter to do. Let's dance. Well, I'm not sorry that I'm woozy, because that would be self-defeating. But I appreciate your sympathy nonetheless. The windfish? Wind it up tight. Oh, but like actually the windfish. Oh, shit. Well, we have a villain now. D did you just kill the Overseer? Who are you? The name is Audrey Redheart. And I'm the hero. The hero? That's right, the hero chosen by Aya. On a quest to defeat the seven Overseers and rid the world of evil. Wait, I don't think you understand. I am on a quest to meet the Overseers, to learn the Earth Song. I already picked me. Uh, no, you definitely don't understand, little bard. What is going on? Um, well, basically, the Earth Song isn't gonna work. It won't? No. In every cycle of the universe, every single time, it's never worked. The world's too filled with discord, especially when it gets this old. And that's where I come in. To destroy each overseer and free the world of their corruption. And that is gonna save the world? No. The Overseers hold your whole world together, but when they get old and messed up like this, there's no way to fix them. The moment the last one dies, that's how the world ends. So the next cycle can start. Sorry. 
I know it sounds sad, but that's the way it's supposed to be. I didn't really think you'd make it this far. So I was supposed to give up and just let the world end? Why did you even tell me about the Earth Song in the first place? Because I really like you and I didn't want to tell you no and I still don't, but I have to be realistic. I'm an angel of Aya and a guide to the hero. My job is to usher in the end and pave the way for a new beginning. Sheesh, quit being such a baby. This is just the way it works. You really thought you could sing some song and solve everything? How about you leave it to the real heroes? How about you leave the shutting up to you? Oh, no, wait. Don't. Oh. It's worked so far. Hey. Hey. Wake up. It looks like something went wrong. So I came, um... Are you okay? No. I'm not the hero, Miriam. I'm not cool or strong or anything. And I thought I could save the world, but I can't. So... I'm just gonna lie here and... Forever? And everyone will forget about me and then the world's gonna end. That's dumb. You're being really dumb. Nobody ever thought you were a hero anyway. That doesn't make me feel better at all. I mean, that's not what's good about you. You're good because you're always so happy and singy. I wish I was like that. I'm grumpy and useless. You make everything better by being happy at it. Well, I'm not happy now. Even if we wanted to learn the Earth Song, we can't, now that an Overseer is dead. Actually, no. You can talk to ghosts, right? Huh? There's still something here. Oof. Something's here? Yeah, I don't know. All around here? There's some kind of spirit. Come on, do your bardy thing and sing. Come on, you can do it. Are you gonna make me stand here forever? Come on! all it takes is one long chord. Act 4. Well, I guess we're Audrey now. Oh, cool. Got a life bar and everything. Oh. 
Dang, juggled that one. Forget, you can point your sword straight up to charge it with lightning. Ugh, shut up. I would have figured that out myself. Oh, okay. Took a couple tries. I think this is kind of cool. The game definitely wants you to uh, put yourself in someone else's shoes right here. Which is not making me feel sorry for her or anything. Just beat up that owl. Ever think Ghost goes, hey, couldn't I have chosen one who wasn't a dunk tool? I mean, she passed the test, and apparently she was the only one on the planet who did. They don't need to be likable, they just need to be able to kill shit. Yeah, I thought that'd work somehow. Whoops. That was good, I like that. Oh dang, I can deflect their shots too. Oh, directly below. Oh, whoops. Oh, got me. Oh, great. Another human. You here to be all loud and annoying like the last one? That sure was a riot. Fat lot of good they did. The Queen of Winds is doing just awful, if you were wondering. Acting all dark and spooky. She keeps... birthing monsters. Well, that it's so gross. She's getting worse every day. This place to... Ugh, shut up! I'm here to take care of the Queen of Winds. Tell me where she's hiding. Like, take care... Aw, oh, jeez. Well, I... am obligated to stop you. Shut up! Okay. I see where this is going. I don't want to be here for it. Just... try not to make it painful for her, you know? She's really so sweet. Or she used to be. Waka 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 waka. Oh, boss fight. Huh? 
Ah, can't counter. Can't counter any moves with music like the Bard can. Oh, shit. Gotta jump earlier than that. Oh god, or just aim my sword at her, okay. Oh shit. I guess Audrey lost. That's the end of the game, everyone. Yeah, I can just aim my sword at her. She stands no chance. you something. Yeah, girl. I just don't get why you never told me that we were gonna end the world until that bard was around. It's cut- not that it's bothering me. <laughs> I was just curious. It's complicated. Sorry you found out in such a lame way. I'm not really supposed to tell the hero that until, like, the very end. Because it's hard for normies to understand why it's important. Normies? You know, like, mortals? Your planet being doomed is kind of sad. But we're clearing the path for a new, better universe. Hey, I completely get it. Nothing normie about me. <laughs> Someone has to stop the spread of the Overseer's corruption and kill them before they all become horrible monsters. May as well be me, right? That's why you're the hero. Yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. We're a team, right? So anything you tell that bard, you can tell me too. Noted. I well, I'm out. I'll hit you up later, okay? Damn, that's kind of fucked up. Act four. <laughs> For real this time. March of the Happy Factory. All right, I'm being informed that this chapter is very long and complicated. Hey, Lil B. Cool if I call you that? Lil B? Still mad, huh? You lied to me. You said I could save the world. But you never really believed in me. And the Earth Song doesn't even work. It could work. It just never has. Learning it is more than going around collecting stuff. It's like all spiritual. Whole world in harmony type stuff? I mean, that part's really hard. It gets depressing watching people try and fail to save their world. I've seen it play out so many times. Why do you even care? Because I like you? And even though I didn't think you'd make it, you proved me wrong. You're special, Lil B. I'm done not believing in you. Even if Audrey's the hero? I don't think I want to see her again. Yeah, she can be a little intense. But she's actually really cool. If you two hung out more, 
You totally love her. God damn it, I hate her. Trust me. Okay, I'm gonna get back to her now. Why don't you get out of bed at least? Don't give up, little B. So yeah, I'm being told that this game is, or this chapter is really long and complicated, so we're gonna save it for next week. So I'm gonna end it a little early. <laughs> he is a terrible centrist. So, here's our schedule. Tomorrow is Saturday, so someone on the Xenon Fiber channel will be playing a Kingdom Heart. Sunday is going to be our wild card stream. We're thinking about doing World War Z Aftermath. It's a new expansion. Uh, Monday, Christy's going to be playing Inscription, the new Daniel Mullins joint. Tuesday is going to be Annie playing... The Little Nightmares, The Secrets of the Maw. Wednesday, Bad Road is going to be playing Soul Reaver 2 on his channel at 7 p.m. Central. And then Sue, back here, is going to be playing Dark Souls at our regular time. Then Thursday, Alice is going to be playing Spiritfarer with Mox. And then back to me on Friday with more Wander Song. Uh, Andy is going to be picking up streaming again next week, looks like. So we'll, we'll see what he decides on as well. All right, so thank you everyone for coming. This, this game is wonderful. Here's our YouTube channel filled with YouTube video. Um, they go back, what, like 100, 150,000 years? Somewhere around there. Perhaps even wonderful. That's just Professor Oak. That's just Professor Oak what you've said, Bad Road. Over 150 hours <laughs> video. Yeah. Yeah. Over 150 hours is right. Alright. This is this is a lovely tubular bell song. All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Please continue to spread this fundraiser. Whenever that goes through for our uh, cancer treatment. And we will, we'll see you next time. Good night, everyone.